Who is this? Was that really necessary? <gasps> what did you do? That's good. Let's go see what we see. I guess the verdict's still out. This is one of my most favorite snacks. We've got a muddy morning. <laughs> the rain is here and it's gonna be set in for a while. So we're going to bring the horses in, possible strong storms. Otherwise I'll just let them get washed off a little bit. <laughs> what is he, is he running? Is he running? Where is he? Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't leave me. <laughs> Coming in hot, she said. <laughs> Y'all ready to go in? Get some breakfast? <laughs> okay, my lovely horse just decided that he needed to roll not once, but twice. Right in the muddy spot. Look at him. Leaves, mud. Was that really necessary? Yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Who is this? It's this farm wife, dressed up edition. <laughs> um, I am sitting in a parking lot at the Marriott in, in Raleigh, North Kakalaki. Um, so uh, you saw it was raining. It stopped, thankfully, and I'm on my way home now. I really had meant to record a little bit on the way out of the house um, until I realized that I had my times wrong, y'all. I just did a I just did a talk for an ag biz conference for Carolina Virginia farm credits, and um, it was it was fun. It was super fun, actually. <laughs> um, it was not just. I feel like evidently I've lost my voice. I've been talking more than I have in a while. Um, I didn't even realize that. Uh, so it's not just farm credit employees, but actually farmers, several farmers in the room. And it was a great, great time. I talked about social media. Imagine that. And um, my story and anywho, I thought I was on at 310. I was actually supposed to be on it from 210 to 310. So I left the house thinking I'd be an hour early. Instead, I was 10 minutes early. <laughs> But it all worked out. And I have got to give a big thank you and a shout out to Dr. Cole, who I did not get to meet. He will be here tomorrow. He is a retired ag econ professor. I believe I might have said that right from Virginia Tech. And he will be presenting tomorrow. And I really wish I was going to be here because he's going to be talking about the state of the economy in relation to our world today and Ukraine and all the things going on. I really need to hear that talk. I think it will be very good. But anywho, I'm not. I'm going home. But I'm going home with, wait for it. This, is this a pint? I'm not good with numbers and volumes. However much of this, this is eggnog. And then there's another one of these, which is custard. I've never had liquid custard. I'm so excited to try it. It's from Homestead Krieger Creamery which he is also part owner in, evidently. And evidently, he is a big fan of the channel. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, we've gotta get Dr. Cole to the farm. This is, your, this is your invitation. And you can come pick up your bottles, and then you can replace it <laughs> with, with some refill. I'm just kidding. Anyway, thank you for, thank you for, for watching and supporting our channel, and thank you for for the goodies, I can't wait to, I am, the kids are gonna fight me for that, but hey, I'm gonna get some of that good stuff and I can't wait to try the custard. So we are on our way, I, we, we as in me, I'm on my way home now. And um, I think next I'm going to put in some footage from yesterday because today has been all about getting here and doing this. So, um, okay, before I get out on the road, I'm gonna just preface this. So yesterday we had some other visitors to the farm. A little boy named Zachary, three years old. Evidently one of our biggest fans from New Jersey was passing through with his family. 
and he stopped by and he got to take his first ride in a big tractor and see cows for the first time. And um, he was scared at first. <laughs> He was scared of the farmer, even though he really wanted to meet the farmer. The farmer came off a little different in person. <laughs> so did the tractor and so did the cows, but we got him. We got him up there and uh, it's really sweet. So I'm gonna share that with y'all next. And then um, I'll see you back on the farm. <clears throat> Maybe I can find my voice. I probably just need a big swig of eggnog. We're gonna see. Okay, y'all, it's feeding time and we have some friends visiting that are passing through. Say hi, <laughs> this is Zach. And Zach loves cows, tractors, yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna get to see the farmer. See Mr. Lawrence put out some hay here in a second. We'll see what he thinks about that. I tried to get him in the tractor, but he wasn't quite sure. You say hi? Say hi? He did wave. <laughs> I think they're ready. I think they're ready for their feed. Tractor off. What do you think of that? What do you think? What do you think, buddy? Say thanks. Let me get my foot out of the way. <laughs> Zach is three years old. Is this the biggest tractor you've ever been in? No. No? You think? <laughs> <laughs> Your daddy said it was. He said, wow we. <laughs> wow we. <laughs> All right. All right. Good job, well, buddy. Thank you, thank you. You're just a true blue farmer now. <laughs> What if you turn out to be a farmer? How cool would that be? <laughs> Were you there when these posts went up? Oh yeah, Did I you built it. You built it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I built it. So I one built of this one, and I built the one over the house. The one over the house, I basically I built everything, but by myself. But uh, putting the rafters on. It's really hard to believe. And putting the tin on the top. Yeah, I think it's a little scary up there. <laughs> way I would do the post, I didn't have nothing but a lock level, you know, that's just a sight level. So I'd set it up on something stationary, and I'd look at that post, and I'd see a knot or something, and I'd go back and stick a nail, and I'd come back, the nail went right, I'd go back till I got my nails right. And then I, I had that tractor right there with the loader. I'd raise the loader all the way up, and then put a ladder on the bucket. Mm. and climb up there <laughs> and measure off my nail up the way I was going to cut all the tops off. And every one of them was done like that. Wow. And then the center poles going across there, I'd take a backhoe and turn a cribbing bucket around backwards and hook a chain on it with a hook on it that I could dangle and make it come undone. And I would pick that thing up and have it spun. I'd make it Turn, and when it got just right, I'd set it down on it. Wow. And it may not be exactly on it right, but set it up there. Okay. Then I'd jiggle my chain, get it off. Then I'd go up a ladder and get this end right. Mm. Tack it, then go up the other side and get it right, tack it, then go back up and drill them and put the boats on them. Wow. Mm. That would have made a great video, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Completely OSHA approved. Cedar, <laughs> yeah. I know, we need like five more. Never enough storage. I built these as hay barns. And now we raise Sudan hay and you can't put it in the barn. It'll heat on the evening if it's dry on a damn day. So the grass hay that we used to raise, put it all in the barn and didn't get rained on. Hmm. And you weren't raising really crops, so you didn't have all this other no, uh, equipment. Yeah, no, no combines, no cedars, <laughs> none of all that. <laughs> Where does that one go? Why don't you ask him? Where does this tractor go? Where does this tractor go? It's going to the barn, but I ain't got no place for it. <laughs> hey, is it okay out there? Is it okay? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it ain't really good for him, but it don't hurt him too bad. It needs need a washing. Wash anyway, yeah. <laughs> We're going to need to power wash up in here. Before Which long. one do you like the most? This one. Over <laughs> this over here. <laughs> that, one? that one's cleaner. Did you get on the little one over there? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Got a buddy now. <laughs> yeah. I have to come back. See what it's like it different time of year. If you come back in the summer, it'd be totally different. The same, but different. <laughs> it's like always the same, but different. And Sissy, and then Sissy will be growing. Yeah. Sissy will be growing. And she'll be running around before you know it. <laughs> Where's the smile? You got to give us a smile for the, oh, come on. For the video, please. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, where is it? Kate, where is it? <gasps> there it is, there it is, there it is. We found it. <laughs> okay, we are tasting custard for the first time. I just drank it and I told her it tasted like liquid snow cream. It's is it delicious? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Y'all, custard. I've never had custard. What are you talking about? Okay. I'm sure that's only like just a few calories. This is so exciting. This is so delicious. This is, I can't explain it. It's sweet. It's like sweet vanilla milk. I don't know. It's just very good. Oh, wow. That's good. Okay, first taste of custard. This <laughs> is such a big day here. Isn't it so mm -hmm. good? Yep. Y'all gotta get some of this if you can somehow. Homestead Greenery. I don't. I gotta now. I gotta now. I gotta figure out how to find it around here. Cause wowzer trouser. Everybody say thank you, Doctor Cole. Thank, thank you, Doctor Cole. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you Doctor Cole. You're welcome here anytime. With, yeah. With your mm -hmm. custard. You bring this. And you come <laughs> no, you're, you don't have to bring this, but. We, we love to meet you, and we love to thank you. So, wowzer trouser. Oh That's so good. Okay, back in the mud again. <laughs> Sun's going down. The mud is, mud is out. Oh, man. So, I brushed him this morning when we came in, but <laughs> he was wet. So, it dried, and now it was just like mud. It's just like mud dried on him. Look at him. Oh, Rippy. Huh? Jeez Louise. Okay, y'all. Semi-clean. Good night, boys. I just can't believe that it's first week of January and I'm in a t-shirt at night. It's crazy, y'all. You done? All right, eat your hay. I am proud of myself that I remembered this morning that I had to go out of town, so I put a chuck roast in here. I'm not even gonna do gravy, gravy tonight. I don't, I don't feel like it. <laughs> good thing chuck is good on its own. And then a can of um, green beans and some potatoes, and that's supper, y'all. Like I said in my talk today, the same quote that I use every time I do a talk about anything. 
Theodore Roosevelt, use what you have with what you, wait, what, how's it go? Use what you have, where you are, do what you can. Okay, let's go back. Do what you can with what you have, where you are. Something like that, it might be out of order, but that's the thing. We practice that a lot in the kitchen, on this farm. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good rule for life um, to just to just get out there and do the thing. Just start somewhere with what you have, do what you can with what you have, where you are, right? I just love that, I love that one. Okay, that's all. Supper's ready. Okay. Okay. Everyone's in, including Rocket. We're going, um, what are we doing? We're gonna look at barley. I have not been around to look at the barley fields in I think over a month. So, Austin is away today at a friend's house. One last two, Rob, before going back to school. So, um, yeah, let's go see what we see. I see field of green. <laughs> okay. It's looking all right, I reckon. It's coming up. Well, this has got some good eyes. You saw a horn down there, deer horn. Antler. Be the right word, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good gracious, Wes. You did good to see that, buddy. That might have saved a, a lawnmower tire. Tractor. Or a tractor, tractor tire, that's right. He mows over here with a tractor. All right. See more green. That's good. As long as it's not all weeds, it's not. I see some here on the edge though. I noticed that at the house. I already got what is it, chickweed? Coming up. Okay, so what's the next thing on this? You said fertilize in February? Yeah. Granular fertilizer, is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Probably need to spray it in February too. Spray for weeds. Spray for weeds. Fertilize for growth. <laughs> okay. Well, it'd be nice if somebody had liquid fertilizer. What do you mean? Nobody has liquid third fertilizer? Yeah. Who, who around here has got liquid fertilizer? Nobody. I don't know. I thought Nobody. that was a thing. I thought that was something you could get at Southern States. Mm -hmm. Southern States never had liquid fertilizer. Oh. <laughs> Alright, this field has oats. Well, it's... It was planted oats. We don't know where it got by. It was planted oats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Something green. Yeah, I know. Uh. So they're there, but they're not thick. Oh. Mm, other grass. Huh. No, not thick at all. You see it right there? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> see. Didn't kill him. No, he's been worried about the kill. Yeah, that, that's um, the way drowned it all through there. Maybe it'll be something. There. Maybe it'll be something with that um, seven degree, six degree temperatures. weren't sure what was gonna make it or not. So I guess the verdict's still out. Turn up right here. He's saying a two-wheel drive with off the tiles. The ground is rotten. Rotten, rotten, rotten. As in saturated. <laughs> and a honk. A bunch of honks around. Out and about. What do you see, buddy? Now that looks good, right? What? And this is oats, right? Well, what you're looking at mostly is green and grass. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, no thing about that oh. Okay. Well. Hmm. 
they had there. Oh, there are some oats. You can see the rows. <laughs> Okay, we made it. We made it back from doing that. Hmm. I just started eating a little snack and decided I needed to wrap wrap this one up. I'm feeling quite tired this afternoon. I think I'm actually gonna go. There, I say it. Take a little. Take a little power nap. Mm -hmm. Um. Anywho, the guys just went over to the auger. That auger that's been giving us a fit, and he was gonna try to lower it a little bit, straight straighten it. But he realized he needed another hand, other than mine, I suppose. <laughs> so I think Wally is coming in the morning. They're going to work on that. We're going to see if we can get that fixed before we have to grind another load of feed, which we need to do in the next day or so. We're also planning on going to our friend Jim Isley's ranch tomorrow and doing some things, learn uh, a practice with the horses for some ranch, ranch versatility stuff. We'll take you along for that. Hope we get there. <laughs> and um, I don't know. That's about it. This is a shorter one. I do want to show you what I'm eating though. This is this is one of my most favorite snacks. This right, this right here, a boiled egg, some red label. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out. I'm out of black and red right now. I got to reorder. If you're on my email list, you already know this, and you got an email this week about this, but, um, or today, actually. Yeah, these are still, these are available in my shop now. If you missed that video where I told you that, all the musket powders are available in my shop. I did run out of black today. Two cases, gone. Wow, that's exciting. I will be getting more in, but anyway, you can now buy these in my shop, thisfarmwifeshop.com. They can only ship domestically. I'm sorry. It's like a food rule. It's like regulations and issues and a bunch of a bunch of hoops to jump through to try to ship it domestically. I mean, ship it internationally. So anyway, this is one of my favorite ways to use Red Label though. So there's that. So we're just going to take this out on a little snack size note. That was bad. That was really bad. I'll try to do better, y'all. Okay. All right. Until next time. Farm hard, live well, be good, do good, yeah.